Hello and namaste and welcome to beautiful St. Thomas. Uh, we're filming this yoga video from the mountaintop of St. Thomas in Mafali. And I hope you enjoy today. We're going to use the width of the mat just to explore our practice from a different angle. So if you can start coming to the center of your mat, your mat should be wide today. Your feet hip distance apart. Bring your hands to your heart center. Press the palms together. We're just going to warm the shoulders up a little bit. Deep inhale. Exhale down. Inhale, reach up. I'm going to look up at this beautiful sky. You can imagine that you are looking up at it with me. And as you exhale, press your palms together and bring your hands back to heart center. Inhale here. Exhale down. Inhale, scoop the air up, look up, bring the palms together, and then press the palms together. See the elbows are bending out to the side, little pressure between the palms. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's do one more, inhale. Exhale, inhale, reach up, stay reaching up, keep the shoulders dropping down the back. You can start to lift your chest a bit higher and maybe open your throat gently so you feel your chin drawing up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, start to look forward, aligning your crown over your tailbone. Bring your hands to your hips. Wrap your thumbs around to the back of the body, pressing them in towards the kidneys. Pull the elbows towards one another. Inhale, lift the chest. You're pressing your pelvis gently forward. And as you exhale, start to fold forward. Bend your knees a lot, coming into our first forward bend. Lengthen your chest forward. And then let your arms dangle forward. Feel your body hanging. Shake your head from side to side. And then start to draw a little weight forward into the fronts of the feet, lifting the sit bones any amount. You don't have to straighten your legs here ever. So remember that throughout your practice, forward bending with bent knees is still a forward bend. Breathe deeply into the back of your body. Very nice. And we're going to start to bend our knees and rotate towards the top of your mat. Plant your palms here. Step your left foot back, followed by the right foot, and we're going to hold plank. This time we're turned towards the right. We're going to lower down to Chaturanga. Press the tops of your feet down. Inhale to Up Dog. Exhale to Down Dog, rolling over the toes. Sink the heels. Now come up off your left heel and extend your right leg. So we're turned to the right. We've got the right leg extended. Inhale here. Exhale, round forward, knees to nose, nose to knee. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to do five more. That was five, counting down to four. Three. Two. On your last one, step forward. Leave your left heel up, your right heel down. Make sure your heels are in line with your hips. Bring your hand to your right knee. Come on up to standing. Press forward through your right heel. Try to draw your inner thighs together. Now bend your left knee. Reach your left arm up. And then reach forward, lengthen forward. Bring your left palm to the inside of your right foot. Keep that left leg strong. So you're holding the bone of your left leg with your thigh muscles. Think about clenching the upper thigh of your left leg. Look up if you like.
and we're gonna rotate down from here pivoting into wide legs heels in line with toes inhale lengthen forward exhale fold in any amount remember bent knees are fine if your palms come to the mat great if not don't worry about it you can keep your hands up at the front of your mat if the palms are down securely walk them back inhale exhale fold in And final exhalation, let's lengthen forward and we're gonna to turn to the left side of the mat now. Starting in a lunge, palms planted either side of the left foot. Step back into plank. Lower to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to down dog, rolling over the toes. Now we're turned to the left. We're gonna use our left leg here. So coming up off the ball, or the heel, excuse me, of the right foot, Extend the left leg, inhale, exhale, round forward, inhale, exhale, so we're doing 10 in total if you like, five more, the last one step forward right heel stays up bring your hands onto your left knee come on up now drop your right knee down reach the right arm up and hold now I'm pressing into my left knee with my left hand to lift my chest higher I'm lengthening forward here, right palm to the inside of the left foot. Chest keeps moving forward. Reach up, if you like you can look up, and there's a lot of weight in my right palm right now. I'm pressing down. You're gonna spiral down and once again rotate center. Heels in line with toes, toes pointed straight forward or a little pigeon toed, which means your big toes are drawn in a little closer. Your heels are turned out just a little bit. This time let's reach up, interlace our fingers. Lead with your chest as you inhale, interlocking the fingers. Exhale, lengthen forward. Now you don't have to drop all the way forward here. You can bend your knees and focus on the stretch between the sit bones. And bring your hands right into your back. We're gonna bring our palms forward to start off. So I'm in a very wide-legged version of downward dog here. And then take my legs a little wider so you can take yours wider if that feels good for you. Don't overstretch your inner thighs. Make sure your hips stay in line with your heels. So you're almost pressing back through the sit bones. Now press towards the outsides of your feet. Some of you may want to come down onto the elbows. If that's not accessible to you, just keep the arms extended. Final exhale here, walk your hands back under your shoulders. Heel toe your feet closer together. And take a look to see that when you bend your knees, your knees are directly over your ankles. From here, bring your elbows to the insides of your knees and push away. Your chest is moving forward. And your hands to your thighs. Keep pressing the knees away from one another.
and then finally your hands to your heart center. We're going to try to draw the tailbone forward so that the hip bones become in line with the rib cage. If you're feeling really strong today, lift your heels. And hold. Keep rolling the shoulders down the back. And press out through the base of your palms. And now let's lower the heels, straighten the legs. That probably feels good. Bring your hands to your hips. So our right toes are pointed directly towards the right side of our mat. Our left toes are pointed in about 45 degrees, and we're aligning our right heel with the arch of our left foot. Let's open the arms wide, palms face down, shoulders dropped, inhale. Exhale, pull that right hip in. Keep reaching away with the right arm. Maybe you take your big toe, maybe you take your shin or your ankle, but try not to press into the knee. Open your chest up. Try to draw your right hip back and roll your left hip open. So you're turning your rib cage towards the ceiling. This is our final exhalation here. Look down at your big toe, bend your right knee, bring your fingertips on either side of your right foot. Now bend your knee a lot so it's comfortable to do this. Now pick up your back foot and step it in, align your heels. The more you bring the back foot in towards the front foot, the less you're gonna feel pressure in the back of the right hamstring. So remember that. If, you're, if your stance is too wide, it's gonna be painful. Now you want your hips to face the right side of your mat. So see my hips now are aligned with the right side of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften down. And bend your knee rather than locking it. Keep drawing the right hip back. And then think about lengthening the chest forward. So instead of collapsing down, lengthen. You should almost feel like you're pressing into the floor, into the mat with that right foot and drawing the right hip back. This is gonna be our final exhale here. I'm gonna bend my right knee, crawl forward, the left leg comes up. Position your, left, your right fingertips under your right shoulder. Left arm up. See if you can turn open. I'm gonna look down today. You may wanna look up if your balance is good. And we're flexing that left foot. And then bending the right knee, stepping all the way back into that nice wide leg position that we started off in. I'm rotating forward. I'm going to reach for my big toes with my first two fingers and my thumbs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold in. Bend the elbows and try to draw your upper back forward. So you're not just getting an open sensation now in the backs of the legs, you're also feeling it in the space between the shoulder blades. And we're going to release here and rotate now towards the left side of our mat. Keep that left knee bent and come on all the way up to standing. Once again, we're checking the alignment of our right foot to our left, left toes pointed straight back, right toes 45 degrees. We've aligned the left heel with the arc of the right foot. Inhale here, exhale, draw that left hip in, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Take whatever's working for you today, the toe, the ankle, the shin, but not the knee. Let's open that chest up. and we'll rotate down. I'm gonna look at my left big toe, fingertips either side of that left foot, and step your right foot in. 
align your heels. Now I have a left hamstring issue, so I'm gonna keep my knee a little bit bent today. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften and fold. We wanna keep drawing the chest forward the best we can and rolling that left hip back. So there's a tendency to just drop the head here. That's fine sometimes. We're gonna try a little differently today, a little more active in the left leg, a little more active in the torso. And final exhale, I'm bending my left knee a lot. I'm picking up the right leg. I'm using my hands for my balance here. Look down, align your left fingertips under your left shoulder. Right arm comes up. Now you can look down, it's a little more, it's easier to keep your balance that way. We're gonna soften the left knee and step all the way back into that big lunge, that big wide stance again. Align your toes with your heels. Bring your palms under your shoulders. Start to walk your palms forward. Coming all the way into a wide-legged plank. Step your feet in about a foot on either side. Keep your chest moving forward and pull that belly in. Let's lift her right leg. And we'll switch, the left leg comes up. So I'm trying to keep my hips aligned. That's great, and let's walk all the way back. Start to bring those heels down. And as I walk back, I'm gonna bend my knees. Fingertips down, bring your feet closer together until you can squeeze the outsides of your arms with your inner knees. And we're gonna come into a squat. Drop your hips down, lift your chest up. We're gonna come into a cross leg position here. For some of us sitting cross leg, it's quite challenging. If you have a towel, you can just put it under the under edges of your sit bones. So you're sitting just on the edge of the towel. It should help to keep you sitting up tall. Let's reach up into a V shape, dropping the shoulders. We're gonna come into eagle arms here, wrap the right arm under the left, lift the elbows, inhale, exhale, lengthen forward, and go ahead and bring those forearms down if that works for you. You can sit up tall and do this, it's exactly the same thing. Just like this. Wherever you are, keep pressing the elbows forward and away from you, and drawing the shoulders down your back. And pull the navel in to come on up. Release the arms. And then plant your left palm on the left side of your mat. Inhale the right arm up. And we're just gonna reach to the left. Keep pressing away from you and into the mat with your left palm. And see how my left elbow is aimed towards my hip. Try to keep doing that so that your shoulder keeps dropping down the back. The left shoulder's dropping and the right. I'm gonna reach up, pull the navel in. The belly is always working here. The left arm comes up. Here we are in our V.
We're going to take the left arm under the right this time, forearms and palms together, if that works. Let's lift the elbows, drop the shoulders. Staying here, if you're comfortable, if you want to try to come into the forward bending version, go ahead. And when you're in the forward bend, remember, you're probably focused on your shoulders, but try to relax your hips. Chin's drawing in towards the chest. The back of the neck is lengthening. And pull the navel and draw the elbows in. And let's release. And bring that right palm to the right side of the mat. Inhale the left arm up. And we're reaching to the right. And when I say reaching, we're only reaching with the fingertips because everything else keeps drawing back towards the sit bones. So where we're grounded is actually the more important part of the pose. And come on up and release and sitting up nice and tall. Let's bring the soles of our feet together. Press your hands in behind you to tip forward onto the front edges of your sit bones. Now go ahead and stay here. This can feel like a lot for some of us just to sit upright. So use your arms. If you like, you can reach for the soles of your feet, holding the inner soles of your feet with your thumbs. Staying here to sit up tall. This is the next stage of the pose. If you'd like to move on, inhale, chest leading. Exhale, relax, drop your head. And I'm pressing into the inner thighs with my elbows just a bit to keep turning those legs out. And come on up. And from here, we're gonna take, you may have a slippery floor, which is easier for this. We're gonna bring our heels to the floor, hold our big toes, and start to extend the legs. Now, you can stay right here. This may feel like a lot for you. You can hold your ankles, you can hold the undersides of your knees. You don't have to go as deep as I am or as deep as someone you're practicing might be doing. So just stay what works for, with what works for you. This is really a prep pose for our next pose. Again, I'm trying to lead with the chest and I'm trying to leave my sit bones where they are. And then let's sit back onto the edges of the sit bones and bring the soles of the feet together. Hold your toes. This is a lot of fun. Staying here, you can keep the soles of the feet touching or start to extend the legs again. And there's extra points if you roll back. Just make sure there's nothing behind you that's gonna hurt you. What I mean is just have fun with it. We're going to move into archer pose, bend the left knee, press out through the right ball of your foot and look towards your right big toe. And then switch. Remember, rolling back is just part of learning. Look towards your left big toe. And then let's bring those feet together and come back to sitting. And from here, we're going to move into some hip openers, some frontal hip openers, the hip flexors, followed by an ab sequence. So let's rotate the 
My head's going towards the right side of my mat. It doesn't really matter. My feet are going towards the left and I'm gonna lay down onto my back. And from here, just draw your knees in towards your chest, hold the knees and gently rock from side to side a couple times. And then bring the soles of your feet down. You can reach to tickle your heels. That's good spacing for many of us when we come up into our bridge pose. We want our knees over our ankles. So remember that. It doesn't really matter if you can tickle your heels. When you come into bridge, your knees should be aligned with your ankles. Let's press into the soles of the feet to start to lift the hips. I'm just gonna scooch down my mat a little bit. Interlace my fingers, interlace your fingers, and make sure that the knees don't turn away from one another. Now I'm pressing into the heels of my feet to lift my hips higher, and I've actually got my glutes turned on a little bit to get up. Then I'm gonna relax the glutes. I'm gonna try to release the glutes. And you can stay here for another five breaths or bring your fingers up under your shoulders pointed towards the body. My elbows, I'm gonna to try to keep them close together, coming up onto the head to start off and then maybe pressing all the way up into wheel. Try to look down. Chin draws in, elbows towards one another onto your head, roll it out. So your chin's drawn in, roll your back all the way to the mat. And we'll pause here for a moment, bring your knees together, your heels towards the outside of your mat. Let's just reach up into that V shape with the arms. A few breaths here. And then we'll switch, separate the knees, counter pose, feet come together, soles of the feet touching, knees drop open. And you can stay in that position for your entire Shavasana or take full Shavasana by extending your legs, bring your arms down to your sides, or you can stick around for our next sequence and take Shavasana afterwards where we'll be doing an ab sequence. Thanks so much and namaste.